Last night, an event that was supposed to be a platform for Londoners to voice their concerns turned into a whirlwind of chaos and discontent. Sadiq Khan, the London mayor, and other members of the London Assembly convened at City Hall for People's Question Time, hoping to engage in meaningful dialogue with the public. However, as the evening wore on, the atmosphere began to sour. Tension reached its peak when a group of attendees initiated a chant demanding Khan's departure. The interruption occurred during the speech of London Assembly member Krupish Harani, causing the chair, Tony Devonish, to issue a warning that the session would be cut short if the chanting persisted. The origin of the chants could be traced back to a frustrated audience member who passionately implored Khan to do them a favor and resign. Perhaps feeling the weight of the mounting pressure, the mayor found himself facing further heckling as he attempted to address issues related to thefts from shops. Khan empathetically attributed some of the thefts to the burden of the cost of living crisis, providing an example of struggling mothers unable to afford diapers for their infants. In addition to facing these disruptions, Khan had to defend his controversial decision to expand London's ultra-low emission zone, ULEZ, in response to a question posed by an angry woman in the audience. The discussion surrounding the ULEZ expansion has been a contentious topic, and Khan found himself needing to justify his actions. Overall, what should have been a platform for productive dialogue and understanding turned into a chaotic spectacle. The demanding chants, heckling, and conflicting perspectives showcase the deep divisions and frustrations prevalent among Londoners. It is now clear that finding a common ground and restoring harmony within the capital will be no easy feat for Sadiq Khan and his administration.